Global Cancerians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career reading for mid-October right through to mid-November 2021. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other Tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. So if anyone claiming to be me asks you for any of those things, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam. Let's get straight to your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds and let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Cancerians, so this is your career reading. Um, just to let you know as well, I will be running a free competition for one lucky subscriber to win a free personal reading. I don't charge for them, I try and give them away in a competition. I'll let you know how to win that right at the end of this reading. Um, so let's get straight to your career reading. Now, um, as I'm even spending time in your energy, I started to sort of it's almost like my mouth started to dry up and there's something I really needed to say or I really need to speak up on. But I'm finding that when I go to do it, either there's no words or you feel like you cannot express yourself at this time. You're trying to, um, there's something here though, a conversation or um, there's something that's difficult to say or maybe even difficult to swallow when it comes to your career. Uh, so either it is your career or your uh, job situation is changing in some way where you find it difficult, you know, to pal, you know, it's not palatable. I'm not really sure what that energy is, but let's see uh, as we go forward um, to see if there's something that's coming out there for you. Uh, we've got eagle and we've got air. Interesting. Yeah, with the air, it's uh, about, you know, breathing, getting that fresh air, but the, getting that clarity. Also, I feel there's going to be a lot of symbols and signs coming to you in the next couple of weeks that really point in the direction that you're meant to be going in because I feel like there is you they're showing me now either you work with equations or something like that because right now my brain's starting to really hurt um, you know I'm quite a creative person and although I understand math when it comes to equation it's like my brain sometimes goes oh I'm gonna fly out the window and ignore that so either you um, deal with equations or something like that they're showing me uh, lots of them. So either you're trying to work something out, because sometimes I get the equation symbol when you're trying to work something out in your career, maybe you're um, trying to make a decision about something, or there's something here that you feel is, you know, you can't talk about right now, and you're trying to work it out. You're like, what? So yeah, I'm, I'm, they're gonna show you some signs in the next couple of weeks, um, so look out for those. Now let me see if I can get a symbol as to what sign. Okay. Um, interesting. Now, I would have thought maybe a feather because there's a feather there, but they're showing me a golden ring, okay? A golden ring. So either you're going to see something, I mean, you could see something on a billboard that is a golden ring. Uh, I mean, I don't feel like it's someone, you know, you could meet someone who's like married and they've got a golden ring on them. Um, I don't feel like it's that. I feel like it's a symbol. So either it's like in a poster billboard or you see it on the ground or golden ring or maybe there's a, a store called a golden ring or your company's symbol is golden rings I'm not really sure but it, the symbol seems to be about unity okay or deepening uh, uh, your devotion to a career or something like that or finding a balance maybe even coming full circle on something but it says here thought alignment breath intention so lots of weighing things up, setting an intention, and then going for it, okay? Uh, so maybe thinking things through. Also, it's number 19. I really feel what you think about, you bring about, and number 19 is a sun card. So that is about joy. It's about a successful outcome. So I do feel like take time to breathe. You know, if there's something here that you have to really think about, even pause for a moment. Don't overwhelm yourself. I would say, you know, just peacefully sort of take a step back and withdraw really think things through and then um, whatever comes to you whatever feels right 
will bring you that happiness, that clarity that you need. Now, also, I feel uh, communication, uh, very important. Uh, they're showing me someone writing something, writing a document. So, I mean, either you're listening to this reading and you're looking at a document right now, or maybe even a document that's got a golden ring on it, um, or you've been doodling and you've drawn something uh, that's maybe, because they're showing me someone writing. Maybe writing is your career. Uh, so please take it as right, uh, it resonates. Um, not really sure if I'm getting resignation energy on there, but we'll, we'll see as we go forward. Now we got Eagle, which really Eagle is like accomplishment. This is whatever it is that your target is. I feel like you're going to see the bigger picture here. And I feel like at the right moment, you're going to strike and you're going to get whatever it is that you're trying to achieve in your career. You are a visionary. Okay. You are a visionary. Your dreams, your goals, and whatever it is you're trying to achieve has um, value. Okay. It really is important. Um, so hold true to your visions. Um, also, I feel like you've got a lot of integrity, Cancer. You know, you follow your heart and, you know, I feel like there's an element here of you wondering about freedom a little bit more or, you know, maybe doing something freelance. Maybe this is on the side. Let's see uh, when I go a bit closer in your energy. We got vision, freedom, authority, inspiration. So it's number 20. So this is the judgment card. Interesting that I shuffle the deck and you get 1920 right back to back. The judgment card is about weighing up options, you know, uh, finding a solution to something, but you being in a bit of a fork in the road um, at the moment. And when you got this air alignment thought, so there's definitely a lot of questions that are being thrown up in the energy of your reading. Now, the judgment card is knowing what to do and then taking the necessary steps to do it. You've got this card here, which is about thinking about what to do and then, you know, taking that action. So I feel like you will swoop on in. Now, the eagle is always about accomplishment or, you know, the achievement of a goal or a desire. Uh, but it's about seeing the bigger picture before you actually uh, move forward. I feel like you're definitely going to be inspired here. But this judgment card energy coming from that is about, is this your life's purpose? You're having a bit of an epiphany or a wake up call. So you may be wondering, do I really love what I'm doing? If not, what else do I love doing? What is it? You know, maybe I can be curious in another direction. Uh, maybe I can continue doing what I'm doing right now until such time as I get the other thing that I really like doing up and running. So, you know, I feel like there's a lot of energy that's coming from that. Let's go and see uh, your overall faded energy for the next four to five weeks. Okay, I gotta go get that card. <laughs> Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? What do they need to know? Wow. We've got, okay. So. Oh my gosh, we've got a flipper here as well. The devil, uh, sorry, the death card. Okay, it just I, I was just about to put it down. Uh, I'm scrying in the water as I do this, so I don't normally, let's see, yeah, that is the only flipper. Okay, it's uh, so the death card, if it's in the upright and I can see it, then you have to have it as well. It's part of your spread. Okay, yeah, it is part of your spread. Okay, so um, we've got the judgment card again. Interesting energy. I'm just going to go get that card for you. Now, the lover's card is your first card. That was the card that came out there, the lover's. It's interesting because each uh, card for most of the signs at the moment, Cancer, to express people's career, uh, we got the lover's card. So there's like this balance about harmony, unity, separation, or people banding together for a commonality, a common cause. And you may be wondering whether you... Um, you know, where you're at, you may have felt like that you were part of a team, but there was some sort of fraught energy here where it's division. I feel like there's something dividing um, in the situation and you're trying to weigh up your options. So let me just see what's coming on in. I mean, we got the world card, the death card and the justice card here at the end. Uh, so it was justice first, world and then death card at the end. Okay. So um, I do feel like it's going to come to a very successful, positive conclusion, but you may walk away from something that perhaps um, you feel, you know, either is not right or you feel, because this is the protagonist energy, okay? This is the lover's card. So you want balance, harmony. You put your heart and your soul into your career. You give everything, okay? Um, and the lover's card is about choices. So we're getting another card here where you're weighing up your options as to whether you stay or whether you go in something, okay? 
Now, the lover's card is, you know, which option do I take? And I feel like you're weighing up your personal decision about something here um, and communicating yourself. But there's something here, it's almost like every time I want to talk about something you need to say or speak up for, I feel like it's almost like my throat gets really dry and the communication kind of is blocked in some way. So either you're re-examining your motives or other people's motives and values when you're contemplating which path to take in your career, I feel like there's a stronghold here. Um, I felt this in the um, Virgo reading that I did earlier. I did it a couple of days ago, yesterday even. Um, there's something like feeling alone, but also knowing that you're not alone in your situation. It's an odd energy that I've got coming through. I'm going to pull a card on it quickly there with that lover's card for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please? Four of Cups, and we got the Eight of Cups. Okay, so we've got... The Four of Cups in the reverse says, you know, you, you're getting a new outlook. Perhaps you're seeing the people that you work with, the, the partnerships, people that you've worked with for with a long time. You're seeing them in a new light. Uh, you're seeing that perhaps... Um, you know, maybe there's comradeship here or there is family energy with some, but with others, I feel like, you know, you're seeing a new side of them that you're not really sure if they're, you know, on your vibe or whether they're fulfilling, whether this career is fulfilling your needs or your, your destiny at this moment. The Eight of Cups in the reverse indicates, you know, you're looking at where you're happy. Do you need to walk away? And if you're happy doing what you want to do, is there something that you can turn around or is there an option that you can sort of pick that doesn't see you, see you leaving a situation or withdrawing from a situation? Because I feel like you don't really want to leave this because we got the protagonist energy says you want to be united. You want to be where you're at. But uh, there may be one or two people um, that you're not vibing with or you feel like there's some sort of division here. Um, and you don't want to walk away from it. But I mean, I feel there's deep down you're having to have thoughts about whether you've got options. We've got the judgment card in the reverse position. So I feel like it's a there's a blockage here or you're feeling some sort of rejection where you're at um i feel like this eight of cups here i feel like you're seeking greater authenticity in your in your working life um but i i just feel like you don't want to seek it elsewhere uh, you'd rather stay where you're at, but you're wondering what is it about your um, working career or what it is, you know, do you have to partner up or network with other people in order to expand? Are you happy where you're at? Um, is it just one or two people that you're not vibing with at this? Because I just pick up an energy of separation, but also, and a little bit of conflict, but also unity. So, I, you know, I'm not sure why I'm picking up the duality of that sign. I mean, this is... Uh, this card rather rather uh, the, the lover's card is a Gemini energy so maybe that's why I'm picking up that um, energy because I'm feeling the duality of the card uh, and the Gemini energy is about duality now the judgment card is Aries Scorpio we've also got very strong uh, sort of um, Libra energy here uh, we got um, Scorpio Taurus Aquarius um, and we've got um, Aries energy there as well, yeah. Um, and we got the death card again, which is Scorpio energy. So this is in your challenge position. You're weighing up your options um, and you may feel like either forced to weigh up your options because uh, getting it in the resistance position, the judgment card in the reverse says, you know, you're feeling a little bit of self-doubt here or a little bit nervous. Uh, you may even feel rejected in a situation or there's like a stalemate, okay? So, and you know, I do feel like you do have options, but the judgment card is those moments where you're not really sure what to do, okay? Um, so I do feel like with the judgment card, I, you're getting this judgment card energy. So it's like gaining clarity, having to make a final decision before you um, take a first step onto a new life path or so, because I, I feel like there's something new here for you, okay? Um, but the overall energy is you finding a solution to this. Okay, a truthful one, an honest one. You're leading with integrity. I mean, the justice card is about 
you know, truth, of course, it is about um, fairness, what is fair for all, and equality, okay? So I feel like if you're fighting for your position, or for example, if there's like um, some sort of, um, what do you call them, uh, redundancies at your work, you may be called to sort of, you know, reapply for a situation or a, a position there. I'm not sure why I'm picking up that energy, but this is what's coming in here. Uh, the Justice card also, you could be going through some sort of legalities with regards to your career in some way. That could be like, you know, if you're partnering up with a new company that you feel are totally on your vibe, because this is basically like, where do I fit in? Where do I love being in my career? Um, and if you're getting a new position, for example, if you you've haven't had a job for a while and you're getting a new position, I feel like, you know, you may be signing contracts uh, to that effect. I would say with the Justice card being in the unified energy, it is a positive energy. And I feel like make sure, though, that you um, pay close attention to the uh, small print always. I do feel like there's a big communication here that's important. So um, I feel like there's an energy of make or break on something like this. And I don't know why I'm, ooh, I'm getting true chills here. Let me see. Can you please clarify this justice card? Whoa, that's a lot of energy. Three of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, the Tower, the Herald of Wands. I would say, you know, if there's no support in your situation, you're feeling pretty alone because the Three of Pentacles in the reverse is like there's some sort of office politics going on or something that, you know, the team is disbanding or is being divided in some way. There's no collaboration here. Um, I feel the King of Pentacles could be someone who's just thinking about the money or someone who, you know, who is in a position of power um, or leadership and, you know, someone that you considered wise, but maybe just thinking about focusing on the money at this time. I would say you may be thinking about going for a new job. You may shock them and decide to go elsewhere because we've got the tower there, which is a shocking sort of all of a sudden kind of energy. And we've got an Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles says you're pretty much provided by the universe. So in a new job, if you're looking for a new job comes along or if you're looking for a raise or promotion i feel like if you think there's no support all of a sudden there's support from the universe so i feel like you will be provided for in whatever this is and the herald of wands says that you may be um you know curious about a new project or a new idea or you're being bold you know you're coming out of a comfort zone here and you're finding your purpose or you're finding a way to do something that you love you've got lots of ideas so i would say dream boldly but it's almost like if you feel like there's been some sort of dishonesty or unfairness or something like that, I feel like there will be a fair outcome here. The world says there is success. You know, the world card in your um, final position is abundance. It is success. It is, uh, you know, something coming full circle and you attaining the achievement of your desire. This is about, you know, completion, satisfaction. So the world, I mean, I feel like it's been a bit of a burden. You're the element of your career at the minute. I feel like it's quite heavy energy, but I do feel like um, things will come full circle and they will work out. Um, it's almost like you get a win-win situation out of this, whatever this is, okay? And we got the death card, which symbolizes an ending and a new be new beginning there, but it can also be about, you know, change, transition. So for example, you know, you could be moving into a different department, taking on a new job elsewhere or new responsibilities in a different department and, you know, getting a promotion or some sort of raise. Um, the death card is like, you know, the phoenix rising from the ashes. So if you've been going through a very tough time, you felt really disconnected from the people that you work with or from your career because you've been searching for a job, I would say, Whatever your, your challenge is basically working out which direction you want to go in and then taking that first step because I feel like you will be successful. Um, and the death card is about transition. There are radical changes coming in your career, uh, but I feel like they're actually very positive for you. Okay, so let's go and get a little bit more detail and see what's happening here for you. Thank you so much. Okay, straight away we have... Just to let you know, I'm using uh, The Mystical Moments to Row by Catherine Will Stein. I'm only reading the uprights in this deck. And the first deck was uh, The White Witch to Row by Mayor de Aust. And um, I was using um, the first cards with The Secret Language of Our, uh, Animals by Chip Richards. So let us see. We've got the Queen of Wands. We've got the Four of Cups. we got the Death card again. They want me to go two more, so I will. Thank you so much. Can you please guide? Ooh, ouch. Uh, sorry, now this is not going to be for everyone. I feel like someone just got a paper cut. Mm -hmm. I hate it when I get that energy. I get it occasionally, a paper cut. So if you just got a paper cut, 
Um, there was something in this message for you. Uh, oh, they're showing me it's, it's bleeding a little bit. So I'm sending you out a little hug there because even though it's a little nip, ouch, it really hurts. Uh, ooh, I got to ground myself on that energy. Uh, so if that was you, there's something in this message for you. Um, please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. Uh, thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels, can you please guide? Thank you so much. Uh, we got the moon card and we've got the eight of swords. Sorry, I just feel, are you wanting to go one more? Okay, one more for the win. Thank you so much. One more for the win. And you've got a justice card right there. So I, if you're going through some sort of legalities or you're opening yourself up, two of wands. Hmm. You still got a bit of a waiting energy here. Anyway, let us see what is coming towards you. Now, just as I'm uh, adjusting the decks here, they're giving me um, a word, uh, and maybe even a sort of, a, it's marmalade, okay, marmalade. So either you're actually eating marmalade, which I think is like an orange jelly, right? Uh, marmalade, or your name is marmalade, or that's your nickname. I mean, the only marmalade thing I know is that song, is it um, marmalade or something? I'm not really sure, uh, but they're just saying marmalade. So. Please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone, that is for sure. Um, now, we've got a Queen of Wands. This is in the protagonist energy. So, actually, you're very attractive in terms of your career. And by attractive, I don't just mean looks, Cancer. I mean in terms of um, you and your skill set. Uh, Queen of Wands basically reminds you to have confidence in your abilities, but also that you can attract an abundance, an array of opportunities. And it's interesting that it's over the Lover's card because... Even though we clarified and we saw the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, which is about no team support, which means, you know, feeling separate, this card actually says unity, you know, creative collaborations. So uh, keep picking up this energy of being solitary or being feeling alone, but also there being other people who are either similar in similar situations. OK, now the Queen of Wands is someone who can, um, you know, dedicate the their time, their attention, their passion to their vision and be capable of achieving absolute desire. So whatever it is you're trying to create here, I feel like you're going to be very, very successful and you will gravitate towards your soul tribe. You will meet the people like networking. You'll meet the situations and the people that you're meant to in order to be successful on your path. But this card, the Queen of, um, Queen of Wands is about self-expression. OK, so if there is a conversation that you feel is difficult to have or, you know, you have to open up on something, self-expression, hold true to your inner vision, but also speak your truth. Even if your voice shakes cancer, I would say speak your truth. Um, I feel like with the Queen of Wands, this is you being passionate and also being an influencer. Um, so I feel like you're going to be very inspired inspired you're going to if you've been feeling like a lack of motivation or drive in your career recently i feel like you're getting a boost of motivation and i feel like you're going to be victorious in whatever it is now if you can see this queen of wands if you see her skirt there's peacock uh feathers there so this is about peacocking showing yourself off showing your skill set off because you should have confidence in your abilities you've got what it takes and actually you are a bit of a beacon of light as you can see, uh, you know, all those bees there, it's like bees to honey. I feel like if you're looking for a job, the next couple of weeks, four to five weeks, you're going to be like bees to honey. You're going to attract some really rewarding situations where you can uh, partner up with the right people and advance in your career. Also, if you're looking for a promotion or, you know, you're having to in some way um, move forward or you want to move forward, advance in your career, I feel like you are an attractive uh, potential for that position. Just have confidence in your abilities and you will find your way to the success that you're um, desiring. OK, uh, also, if you're a creative person, I feel like um, you are actually going to um, have some sort of recognition uh, for your work. And I feel um, it's been a long time coming for you. Keep shining your light is what I would say. Now we got the Four of Cups here. Four of Cups is about feeling a little bit fed up, feeling like nothing's going your way. Maybe you feel like um, you're feeling alone. As I keep getting this energy of feeling moments of feeling completely alone. Spirit are protecting you at this time. Four of Cups is often a, a protection energy, as you can see. Uh, you know, the circumstances, the world circumstances out there are, it's raining. 
it looks sorrowful, uh, things look pretty grim, okay? But spirit is represented by that goose or that duck there, and it's holding an umbrella. Now, umbrellas in tarot and pretty much in life are about protection. So I feel like you are protected at this time. So um, whatever it is that you're weighing up, whether it's your life path, your life's purpose, or you're feeling a little bit stuck in a rut, I feel like spirit has got your back and actually going to bring in a surprise opportunity, something that's more emotionally fulfilling than has been before. Uh, traditionally in the uh, Rider Waite Tarot, uh, a person in the Four of Cups sits under a tree with their arms folded looking pretty fed up. There, there's three cups in front of that person and they're like, no, all of those options are not really viable. They're not what I was hoping for, okay? And the universe comes out, I'm gonna show you. They said, just show them, just show them. So I will, <laughs> let me just get that. Could you please show me the Four of Cups? Where is the Four of Cups for my beautiful Cancerians? Thank you so much. Um, so, as you can see, um, you know, looking pretty fed up. And out of that really dark cloud, the only cloud in the sky. So during, you know, a time of unrest or unease or tumultuous energy, spirit provide is, provides there a cup that is bigger than all the other cups. So a better opportunity is coming towards you just out of the blue. But in the meantime, they're protecting you. They got your back, okay? So I would, if you're nervous about anything, I would say, um, don't worry, you will be provided for. But it may require you walking away from something that you feel is not honoring your capabilities or is not acknowledging um, what wonderful skills you have or is not appreciating the skills that you have. The death card is, as I said, about endings and new beginnings, but it's also about recognizing where you know um, you need to flourish. So if you've hit a glass ceiling in your career and you're feeling that, you know, I'm not inspired or I'm not um, advancing in any shape or form, can you see that? All that blossoming within, it eventually breaks out. So I feel like you're eventually kind of breaking out of a really stagnant situation. And I feel like you're, uh, you know, you're making radical changes here. Uh, the death card, as I said, is change. You've got two death cards showing up in your reading. So Cancer, I'm going to send you a massive hug again. I tell you why, because Cancerians, you know, and I've got a lot of beautiful Cancerians in my life. Um, one thing, us water elements, and I'm a Scorpio, we don't really appreciate change, okay? We're open to it as long as we've had time to think about it, okay? You got the judgment card. You're gonna have some time to think about it. You may feel like things are out of your control though, or out of your comfort zone. This is gonna work out in your favor, okay? You're gonna blossom and thrive because of this change, okay? Now, we've got the moon card, which is your card, and that represents uncertainty, okay? Fear, uncertainty, um, you may feel like Perhaps, uh, I mean, we're going through a radical change in the world at the moment uh, with regards to, you know, uh, the big thing that is happening with everyone right now, um, the pandemic. Um, so I feel things are changing anyway. Um, but the moon card represents in that uncertainty, in that fear, all of a sudden there is opportunity that lies in the shadows, alternatives that sort of pop out of nowhere, okay? When you get the moon card, this is kind of like a plot twist. So I do feel like there's going to be, uh, you know, this was an unseen problem or something rises to the surface where you're having to think things through and take another direction. Uh, this card says voluntary changes are gonna be made. You're gonna make these changes and you're going to thrive because of it. You, it's like feel the fear, do it anyway. The moon card basically represents illusion. Everything that you felt was, you know, a solid source in your world, in your career, may be changing and you are being fluid. You're actually being able to uh, remember it's important to be in the flow of things and you will all of a sudden there's like a great opportunity i feel that just comes out of the shadows for you and it's a perfect moment uh to go after something that you may have even felt was unobtainable okay i'm going to pull a quick card on that moon card in a moment the eight of swords does say though there's a bit of nervousness there's a little bit of anxiety and you may feel stuck you may feel that you have no choice but the judgment card there says there is choice okay the Eight of Swords says, is there something you're not seeing? Okay, as you can see, there's like, an es it's almost like an escape route. This person, this lovely angel there, born to fly, okay, but is caged and feeling a little bit stuck in a rut. 
and cannot see or has not acknowledged or refuses to see that the actual cage is open and that they can be free at any time. So I do feel like the Eight of Swords, it's, it's almost like something that you don't see or something that you have been anxious about for a while is all of a sudden going to come to light. You're going to make some changes and, you know, I feel like there's going to be some positive uh, energy coming out the other side. But the Two of Wands says you do have to make a choice or you're waiting for results. Perhaps you're, you know, and this could be uh, about creative planning. What do I do next? Okay, I feel like you're trusting in the unknown, especially since we got that moon card there. I feel like there was anxiety, but there's moments of feeling, you know what? This is my destiny. I, this was meant to happen. I'm going, I'm going to go with this, okay? I'm going to get you one more because what they're giving me with this card is you're aligning yourself with everything that you need. Spirit will bring you. The universe is going to bring you everything that you need. But there's some planning that goes with this. So I feel like you're going through a process right now of um, reimagining what it is that you do. I mean, you may be staying in a position that you've been in for a long time, but maybe feeling a little bit stuck in a rut and think, you know what, what could I do differently? Or if you're an entrepreneur or setting up your own business, you may be like, should I partner up with somebody or should I go solo and do something? Um, or, you know, what should I do here? So I do feel like, I'm just gonna go one more. Thank you so much for it, guys, going angels. Can you please guide? Waiting for what? We got the two of wands, what's next? Three of swords. So there, there's a sadness here. So there's definitely, I mean, the death card is about losing out on something or walking away from something. I mean, maybe you're going to take some time out to grieve something that you've had to walk away from. Okay. The three of swords, they really want you to be aware of the three of swords. The, the three of swords doesn't mean lingering in pain. It doesn't mean that there is loss um, that is going to keep you down. Uh, you thrive regardless. As you can see, the three arrows are in this person's heart and there is a rose forming around it. So I feel like you blossom despite whatever it is has uh, either forced you out of a position or has forced you to rethink something or you may have felt like you lost out on something. Like all those wonderful Cancerians out there who are like, you know what, I've got a really steady job, everything's fine. You know, um, I'm happy where I'm at. Um, I can see that absolutely, um, you know, that there is energy here where you're thriving uh, but also there may be something where you're feeling a little bit bored or you may feel like you're going to uh, change the way you think about something and you know makes it's almost like then you wait for a result on something okay I'm gonna pull a card on it and see because I want to see what the moon is but the three of swords as well I want to see what that is Ooh. thank you so much spirit guys going angels ace of swords a breakthrough Okay, so this is a moment of clarity. This is a moment of communication, something new coming on in here, whether it's a new idea and you're like, for example, if you worked on a project for like two years and you're like, I, this project is my baby, it's incredible, it's not quite going the way that I'd hoped, what do I need to do in order to make it the success that I've been visualizing for such a long time? Then all of a sudden you get a breakthrough moment. So you may, you know, decide to disband on some of the things that you've been working on or tweak the plan it's not that you're losing the plan it's that you are changing it you are recognizing what is not working and you know you may have to let some things go in order to for the sake of the project to thrive moving forward but i definitely feel like there's communication uh movement forward really positive energy uh, can you please clarify this three of swords as well the death card in reverse because whatever it is that you have to let go of has been making you feel stuck to get three death cards in your reading really says that there is a stagnant energy or something, there's resistance to something. But as soon as you change this, whatever it is, whatever you walk away from or you disconnect from, there's change, radical change, and it brings a major breakthrough, okay? The moon, yeah, out of nowhere, all of a sudden there's change. Let's go one more. Thank you so much for it, guys. Nine of Swords. Now, Nine of Swords in the reverse is, you know, a recovery card. From any of the anxiety that you may be feeling with these changes, you know, this is about resting, recovering, working out, what do you do next? It often means unwarranted fear, okay? So you'll see that actually, Six of Pentacles, yeah, the universe will provide. Six of Pentacles uh, basically means generosity, 
of uh, the universe giving and receiving. Um, either uh, you know an opportunity comes along to balance things out. But the Ace of Pentacles, you know, can mean that all of a sudden the universe sends you a gift. Whether that is they send you a lifeline uh, or a job that you've been searching for for a long time. You may have felt really stagnant and th think, I'm looking for a job, I can't find one. Um, then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there is this perfect opportunity that just lands by your side. So it really is about recognizing that what is meant for you will never pass you by. Nine of Wands. You, you, so Nine of Wands is you may be bruised, you may be hurt, but you're a warrior. You will move on, okay? This is the Wounded Warrior card. It persists. So if you feel like no matter how much you try and push forward on your dreams, and maybe sometimes even world circumstances, you may feel like you're two steps forward, four steps back, okay? It means your determination to achieve and thrive will see you actually moving through these uncertain times and overcoming. I mean, the next... The next two, the next card is the Ten of Wands, which means, you know, um, you know, there's a lot to be done, but it means there's about to be a breakthrough. You're about to achieve whatever it is you set out to achieve. But it's been a battle to get there, okay? So I do feel like, um, it feels like a bit of a roller coaster, but I do feel like there's a, a major breakthrough here for you. Now, I'm going to see if there's any other energy that's coming through. Um that you need to be aware of before we close. The Magician in the Reverse. Seven of Swords. Page of Wands. Eight of Cups in the Reverse again. Pay close attention to your synchronicities. Five of Swords. The Judgment. In the reverse. Oh, one more. Okay, thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Seven of Wands. I, th I mean, this is two. This is another deck, Cancer, and they're giving the same energy. It's like the same path for the next four to five weeks. The Magician in the reverse is like a bit of a scattered energy. Okay, you may feel there's unfulfilled potential where you're at. That either you're doing a lot. You're doing more than a lot, but you may feel like there's no movement forward, or you may feel like no one is recognizing your potential, that you've got a lot of skills. You may feel uneasy, okay? And you may feel a little bit powerless in this situation um, with this magician card in this. It's almost like no one is noticing or appreciating um, what you're capable of, is what I'm getting here. Um, and also, I feel there's this there's just a little bit of cynicism as well. There's like a lost hope kind of energy coming from this because I feel like you're capable of so much. And when nobody is noticing your skill set or um, I feel like there's the potential here to give up on uh, manifestation because it's like, oh, what's the point? So just be a little bit mindful. Keep shining that wonderful light of yours. Also, we got the Seven of Swords. Now, this is in the resistance position. Seven of Swords, it's like mutiny. It feels like, you know, pirates you know, coming along uh, and doing something, you know, dishonest here. Uh, so, because we got a Seven of Swords here and you got a Justice, I would say be mindful and discerning about the company that you keep at work or within your career. I would look out for anyone who you feel intuitively, you feel you cannot trust, okay? Um, because the Seven of Swords is like, It's so interesting. They just said, look at the cards, look at the cards. Okay, I'm looking at the cards and I see, I see what you're pointing at. They're highlighting these two cards for me. So, and they were two different decks, okay? So look at that. Queen of Wands, confident, male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy. Someone shining their light, someone capable of so much, someone doing, you know, really well. Someone who is capable of a lot of success and she's wearing that peacock feather skirt okay so showing off skills and there's nothing wrong with showing off your skills and being good at what you do and being recognized for a job well done but not everybody feels you know the same way about your success so there's either someone in your working environment who is either micromanaging you or is trying to cut you down to size or feels like that achievement should be their achievement look at that this pirate there, Pirate Panda, I love this deck, Way of the Panda to Row by Kimberly M. San, um, has got a sword there, a star, taking away someone's sparkle, and look at that, the peacock feathers. 
it's almost like they've cut away the peacock feathers. So it really connects to this card here. It's almost like someone trying to dull your shine is what I get here. So it, I do feel be mindful of anyone that you don't trust or you feel like if you for example you're in a career and you feel like someone is trying to uh, prevent you from moving ahead in your career or you feel like there is no option to advance I would say just be mindful of someone who perhaps is trying to keep you in a stagnant position or trying to keep you in that self-doubt mode uh, you know so just be mindful of that now we've also got page of wands which is being bold creative expression okay having a new idea exploring it finding a different way maybe even looking at a new purpose in life pages also bring news and it tends to be good news okay page of wands there is about expression and you know creativity also a bit more freedom in your working environment so i feel like um, there's definitely a desire to create something really exciting or you're venturing forth maybe even a new beginning if you're walking away from a, a career uh, eight of cups in the reverse i said it may feel like you don't want to move from where you're at or you may feel like you're learning from the past maybe even someone from your past learns their lesson and comes or even from your situation if you feel like someone's been unkind in some way they may come to give an apology or make amends in some way they fully learn from what's just gone on there uh, this the eight of cups tends to mean someone returns to you or something returns to you so whether it is your motivation your drive your love for what you do um the five of swords i mean the five of swords and the judgment they're given the same energy i really want you to be aware the seven of swords is in the judgment section you know in that uh, the unified energy is here and we've got the um, antagonist energy right here we got the five of swords and right next to it is the judgment in the reverse so something is making you overthink whether it is stagnation maybe you feel like you're not advancing in your career or you're having to weigh up an option here and you feel like there's some sort of sabotage I feel no matter what you are going to stand your ground hold true to your vision seven of wands says you're at your personal best you're capable of going the distance you have what it takes to persevere you're not conforming you're living life on your own terms and you're unstoppable seven of fire says you're the best at what you do if there's competition out there for a job and you put your resume out there for example and you can't catch a bite please don't let it erode your confidence because with the queen of uh, fire there and the seven of wands it says you're above the competition it just means those opportunities were not meant for you because there's something better there for you look at this panda it's like rambo okay rambo panda is holding true to their vision but also fighting for whatever it is that they want to achieve okay i feel like there's full achievement here um and i feel there's inspiration so i would say don't give up on a dream or a goal or an intention yes there is a plot twist yes there is going to be a different way of doing things whether you're walking away from something completely or whether you're just tweaking the plan and getting rid of part of the plan that just no longer works anymore i definitely feel like there's a lot of success here but i feel that um you're having to rethink a few things okay uh, now i'm just going to get you um I'm just going to give you a, what is is there anything that you should be aware of apart from this seven of swords and this five of swords anything my beautiful Kent series need to be aware of before I close the reading Herald of Pentacles there's new news coming on in that's really positive it's slow moving news but there's news coming on in here of either a new job if you're looking for a new job or uh, some money that you were not expecting or that you've been really working hard towards and it's been a long time getting this money uh, page this is like a page of pentacles there so I feel like this is either you being patient patiently trying to work your way up through a company or in your own business and money starts to be attracted towards you this is a raise in money but it's news financial news coming on in that it's really positive and allows you to build an empire I feel like your guardian angels have got your back your guides are walking by your side they're protecting you at this time look at that angel presiding over trumpeting the news that there is money coming on in so i definitely feel like there's a positive energy but there's a few twists and turns i gotta give it to you the way i'm getting it my beautiful kent series i can't lie to you okay so i'm just going to uh pull a final card just to let you know as well i'm running a free competition for one lucky subscriber to win a free personal reading all you have to do is visualize what it is that you want to achieve okay and as soon as you've done that visualize yourself 
doing it or having it, not something that's in the future. Be in that moment, in that vision, doing it. And then just say to yourself, I am a magnet for abundance. And then write it in the comments box below. Just write, I am a magnet for abundance. And I will gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 21st of November. And I'll upload it in a video and announce the winner. Okay, we've got Donut. <laughs> well, that's interesting, isn't it? Uh, you know, it's uh, actually, I really feel like it, it, in some way sums up the reading because when you think about it the donut is like the world something is full it is whole but actually there's something missing there's a hole right in the center so perhaps you don't want to leave where you're at but you feel like there's something missing maybe you're going in search with that page of wands and search for something that brings more passion or you know and it says here indulgence treat craving be able to discern moment to moment gratification from true fulfillment Okay, so it is about working out what it is that you want, what is healthy for you, what is right for you. It may not be what is right for someone else, and that's okay. But as long as it's okay for you, Cancer, you've got to work out what it is that you want. And it's number 53. When you reduce it, 5 plus 3 is 8, which is the number of self. Okay, so interesting. I'm just going to pull the trinket before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys. Go angels. Oh, Okay, now, um, just as I was picking out uh, the trinkets, they gave me the name Robert. Now, of course, Robert has come up before. So either your name is Robert or uh, that's um, the name of a uh, company that you work for or an avenue that you live on or your boss's name or someone you work with that may be micromanaging. Please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone, of course, uh, but it has come up before, but they were giving it to me again. Maybe not for your reading, not maybe for Cancerians, but I've had it in the last maybe year, I think, that name come up. Anyway, first trinket we got. Oh, I love this. We've got the mermaid who is turning her back. So this is an, on both sides. So this is about turning your back on anything that is not emotionally fulfilling. Okay, so very, very important to know that. They want it on the judgment card. So this is about weighing up your options. It's gotten really cold here. Uh, and we've got a key. Okay, so key to un unlocking all things. I mean, it's got a little heart there on the top. Key to unlocking everything is following your heart. Also, the little nubbin to open the door with that key um, is the fleur-de-lis, so that's about emperor energy. So if you're thinking about setting up your own business um, and being an entrepreneur, I feel like you're going to form very strong creative alliances, perhaps, uh, you know, network, and I feel like people will want to help you move through this energy. Um, I do feel like there's going to be a piece of information, a really valid piece of information that comes to you um, right about week four, um, that helps you sort of have an aha moment or unlock something for you, okay? They want that on the judgment card too. So I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I feel like was, there is success, but I do feel like there's a bit of a twist and turn happening for you in the next couple of weeks. Really be mindful that Mercury and Jupiter um, are no longer in retrograde from the 18th of October. So that means communication flows a little bit more clearly and things become a little bit more uh, streamlined and a little bit more positive. Also Jupiter, when it becomes direct, there's a lot more luck, good luck, good turning points, okay? A lot more confidence as well, and things turning out the way you'd hoped. So it's a little bit fraught with energy at first, but I feel like things turn for the good, okay? So I'll leave it there, my beautiful Cancerians. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. and lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Thank you so much, my beautiful Cancerians. Love and light.